The First World War wasn't just characterised by great loss of life, but also with remarkable stories of bravery. Here at Ipswich Crematorium are scattered the ashes of one of the more unlikely heroes of the Great War, Flora Sands. Yes, you heard correctly, Flora Sands. Flora was the only British woman to have been an enlisted uniformed soldier, and not just that, saw action, was decorated for bravery, and became an officer. Yet her ashes were scattered here without any memorial. It wasn't always like that. Flora travelled much during the 20s and 30s, telling of her exploits as a soldier in the army of Britain's First World War ally, Serbia. A century ago, fighting was very much a male preserve, and women couldn't serve in combat roles in the British Army. Flora was born in Yorkshire in 1876, but spent many of her teen years here in Suffolk, where her father was Vicar of Marsford. She was not your ordinary woman of that period. She enjoyed riding, shooting and driving a sports car. She loved adventure. She hadn't married by her thirties and at the outbreak of war was desperate to get a slice of the action. The only way of getting near the front was by volunteering as a nurse with the British Army. But she was turned down because she was insufficiently qualified. Undeterred, Flora heard that volunteer nurses were needed to help Britain's ally Serbia. So in 1915 she went there. And it was whilst serving as a nurse that Flora found herself in the middle of an offensive by the Bulgarians to occupy Serbia. The Serbs wanted to evacuate the nurses, but Flora refused and offered to stay and fight. So she was enrolled as a private soldier in the Serbian army at the age of 39. By all accounts she was inspirational and was soon promoted to corporal. The Serbian front was violent and bloody and unfortunately Flora was badly wounded at the Battle of Bitola in 1916. For her part in the action she was awarded Serbia's highest military honour and promoted to Sergeant Major. She quickly became a celebrity. She was too badly wounded to return to a unit and was put in charge of a military hospital. In 1918 she became both Serbia's first woman and first foreign commissioned officer. She was later demobbed in 1922 as a major. Flora later married a Russian exile and they based themselves in Belgrade until the Second World War when at the age of 65 she was re-enlisted in the Serbian army as a captain when the Germans invaded in 1941. She was captured but later released. After the war she returned to England and lived near Wickham Market before her death in Ipswich Hospital in 1956. Apart from a burst of fame after the First World War, Flora died an almost forgotten hero, at least here in Britain. There's a memorial in Marlesford Church and until recently there was a pub called the Flora Sands in Thornton Heath but that closed. However, in Serbia she's celebrated still as a war hero. Forgotten. Sadly it's going to be the story of most of us when we're gone. We'll be slowly forgotten about. The great and good and the infamous are always remembered. But even heroes like Flora can be forgotten and their stories disappear. But remembering is important and we need to understand the lessons of history and recognise the sacrifice of bravery of those who are prepared to risk their lives for our freedom. Flora was fortunate and survived to tell the tale, but we know only too well that millions didn't. Sometimes we come across war graves of unidentified soldiers in military cemeteries, and on their headstones is marked, Known unto God. It's a significant phrase. We may be forgotten by everyone else, but God knows who each one of us is. We're each significant to God, never forgotten, never unloved, even if we aren't bothered about him. God knows and loves you even if you don't know him. But he wants to know you, and that's why Jesus came, so that God can reconnect with each one of us. And by that I don't mean the great and the good, or the religious or the do-gooders. I mean everyone, however insignificant and forgotten we think we are. Here's a verse from the Bible. God put his love on the line for us by offering his son in sacrificial death while we are of no use whatever to him. And God wants to know you today 
if you're prepared to trust and follow Jesus. And in him, you'll never be forgotten because he wants to love you as one of his children eternally.